Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day or night. Today's video is a haul that I did on my recent trip to Spain and Portugal. There are quite a few pieces here. I will unbox them with you. This is not a true unboxing because some of these I have already opened them to pack to bring them home. Some I haven't, but I will go over and I will tell you the reason why I bought them, what I like about them, and then at the end, I will also do a mask shot. Without further ado, let's get started. The first one that we're gonna unbox is a Dior handbag. Dior has always been one of my top favorite brands. My first designer handbag is actually a Lady Dior. Also, its initial is CD, and my initial is CD, so it, it is very special to me. However, Dior doesn't have good resale value compared to Chanel or Hermes or even Louis Vuitton. So before buying a, a Dior handbag, I have to really make sure that I really, really like the bag and not planning to resell it in the future. So this, I actually bought it in Spain. I was there with my girlfriends and we all went shopping. We went into Chanel and there was literally nothing in Chanel. We went into Hermes and there was nothing in Hermes. So we went into Dior and I really like the store there and the customer service was really, really good. I found her on display and I just fell in love. She was so beautiful. Let's go ahead and open it. It came with a lot of the, the paper as a cushion or a pillow, but I removed them and I left them back because I was running out of space. So I had to keep the box empty and then I just stuffed my clothes in here because I didn't really have space coming back in my luggage. You ready? So this one is a bobby bag in a color called latte. It's like an off-white color. The hardware is gold. Right here it has the CD initial and the buckle. You can actually open it, but you don't open the bag using this buckle. It's a snap closure. It closed like so. Yeah, very secure. In the back, it has a back pocket. I really like handbags that have the back pocket and it has the 30 Montaigne embossed right here. The leather on the outside is a calf skin and the inside it's suede. And then it comes with a strap and it is adjustable, which I really like. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it on so you can see. An hour later. This is what it looks like. The reason why I bought this bag is to replace my white cocoa handle that was defect. I was determined to get a replacement for that white. And I feel that that Chanel white was really white. This one is a little bit more off-white. And I feel that it's not as high maintenance. It's smooth leather however it's not like glam skin where it's super delicate this one it feels more durable i will have to do an update review of this bag later on if you guys are interested at the moment though i feel that it's very easy to wear it's super adorable i just love the shape you can wear it as a shoulder bag as a crossbody the inside is very pretty i like the suede and the bag is small. It's not that big. So this size is a medium. There is a small, which I don't think you can fit much in there. And then there's a large. I opt for a medium because the medium is the size is still really cute. It fits my body frame really well, but it can still fit quite a decent amount of items in here. So that's that. So that was the only item that I bought in Spain. Everything else here that I'm about to open were bought in Portugal. So next up is a Prada item. This one is going to be very fun. It's also my first ever Prada item. I don't believe I've owned anything Prada. This one, I've also had unboxed it to bring it home. However, I haven't used this one. It's still brand new. I'm still waiting for the right time to wear it. 
<laughs> I'll show you in a little bit what I mean by that. I like the Prada box. The Dior box was a little bit more flimsy. It's thinner. By the time I brought it home, it was already dented. This one is very sturdy. The material is really thick. It almost feels like they're Saffiano leather. The paper is really pretty. It's in this baby blue with the logo out in the front. All right, here she is. It is another handbag. The dust bag alone already feels very luxurious. Quality already feel really good on everything so far from the box to the dust bag. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Okay, so let's open. Are you ready? Because I am. I know, I know. This was very unexpected for me. I never thought I would be getting a crystal embellished bag. This is a Prada Reedition 2000. It was first introduced in 2000, hence the name. This is a size mini. The material is satin and it's crystal embellished all over. And the clochette and the zipper, the little zipper, and the clochette is made out of the Saffiano leather. And then right here, it said re-edition 2000. This, I blame it on my flight being delayed. I was supposed to go home already and then my flight got delayed. So I had to stay an extra day. So I figure, well, if we're going to be there for another day, let's go shopping. My girlfriend and I, we went into the store. I actually had no intention of buying anything from Prada, but we figure, well, go check it out. And when I went into the store, I asked them just to ask, just to kind of see it because I actually never seen this version in the store. I have seen the plain version, which I almost, almost got when I was in Paris last year, but I didn't. So I asked one of the essays at the store if she had the crystal bag. I just want to see. And her co-worker, another SA, he was telling us that, oh, we're sold out. I sold the last one yesterday. But then my, the SA that was helping me, she's like, wait, hold on a second. She left and she came back out with a box and she's like, I have it for you. It actually was reserved for one of my clients, but they never showed up to pick it up. And the whole time was already over. So I'm going to show it to you. So when she brought it out and... I was just amazed of how blingy it is. This is one of those bags that honestly, I feel like you don't have to dress up for it. You shouldn't dress up for this. I think this bag is so cool. It's very different. Yes, it is blingy. It's not your everyday bag. It's the bag to steal the show. You can wear a very simple outfit and you put this on and it totally changed your outfit. That day, I was wearing jeans and a tank top and I put this on and I'm like, oh my gosh, like it looks, you know, it just make my whole outfit look so much better. I live in Vegas. So I figure I can probably use this quite often, right? So let me just show it to you up close so you can see all the crystal all around at the bottom too. The clochette and then open the the material in here is silk satin lining it's just very simple there's no zip compartment in here it's just that one compartment the material is really soft it does feel like silky very silky this though might not hold up very well in the long run i will have to find out later but for sure i will have to get an insert for this bag because this material it's so soft and silky that i think it's gonna be ruined uh, very quickly if i don't use an insert absolutely stunning i think this is for sure a showstopper what do you think is it a yay or a nay comment below next up i have two pieces from louis vuitton the first one this is a cosmetic pouch in a small size. There's a bigger size. I like to collect small little goods from Louis Vuitton, especially in the monogram. I used to not like monogram in my 20s, but now everything I buy, it's monogram. So this one is very simple. There's not much to it. This is like a catch-all for 
my bag so i can put all of my makeups in here um, anything i want to throw into my purse i can just put it in here and then put the whole thing into my purse so it's like a cute little makeup bag or you can put anything in there you can actually use it as a clutch as well it's really cute and the size is really good it fits in your palm perfectly if you're in a rush and you don't want to wear a purse you can totally just grab this and off you go so the inside is leather it has a little compartment right here it has gold hardware little vaqueta leather right here and here yeah it's just really cute sweet simple and very functional so i can't wait to use this and the last louis vuitton item is in this box again no surprises here it's another handbag <laughs> I like the way that Louis Vuitton makes their boxes, especially for the handbags. It's collapsible. So it's really easy to take them apart and then put them in the luggage and take them home. Inside comes with the dust bag and the ribbon, which I already took out. So here's the dust bag. This is a speedy bandolier 25 bandolier it just means that it has the shoulder strap without the bandolier if it's just a speedy then it doesn't come with the strap and 25 is just simply the size of the bag it runs 25 centimeter this way it is in emprunt um, leather and the color is tortorel it's like a taupe color and the inside is microfiber lining and the hardware is gold and the removable straps the lining inside it feels really nice and soft definitely organizer for this too like i said organizer for all of my handbags and it has one um, pocket right here and then there is a zipper pocket right here so it comes with a little lock i don't think i'm even gonna use this i'm just gonna keep it i mean it's like a piece of jewelry for the bag so i can put it on as a piece of jewelry but to really use a lock um i don't think so i actually was looking for another handbag i was looking for the alma bb in the, the pink i was looking in every single store that we went to and none of them had it i think it was because it was like an older bag and they still make it but it's not a new season item where they make it all the time so sometimes it comes and goes and they make very limited amount of that bag so i could not find it i wasn't planning to buy anything else at louis vuitton until i saw somebody on the street and she was wearing this bag and I was like, oh my gosh, I just love the color. And it looks so cute on her. I've owned Speedy before, but not in this color. I've owned the canvas one previously, but I sold it. I feel like this one is going to be more hard wearing, even though it has this ginormous <laughs> monogram print here. Because of this color and leather, it's very understated. I just feel like everything about this bag is perfect. It's functionality, the looks, the classic aesthetic the color, the leather, everything is perfect. Even though this is a casual bag, because of the combination, like it's still very elegant and very classic. So yeah. Okay, so we are down to two more pieces left to go through. Both of these are from Loewe. Loewe is also a new brand in my collection. I don't own anything from them yet before these i actually was looking for a summer bag there was one bag in my wish list it is a basket bag and it's called the small shell basket bag and i've tried it on in the store last year and i really liked it when i was in portugal and i went in the store and tried it on again i didn't like it as much and i don't know why i think it was because of the shape it has this wavy shape and initially that's what i like about it but the second time that i tried it on again it felt a little stiff on me so i decided to look around for something similar but different so the sa brought out this one which i'm about to show you and i really liked it this one it's so big they did not give me a box i believe they ran out of box this size but it was okay because i wouldn't have room in my luggage for the box anyway and
this is the anagram basket bag this one is a medium size it also comes in a small size and a larger size this is what's called anagram it's like the logo and the anagram is stitched in so if you notice uh, right here the anagram is leather and stitched onto the bag and the material of the bag is ikara palm and the color is natural color the strap the handles and the anagram is in calfskin and tan color inside is just one big old hole this bag is perfect for summer i can see myself going to the beach with it so there it is last but definitely definitely not least is this one right here this one i haven't unboxed since i came back i put it in my carry-on as is so we're gonna go ahead and uh, unbox it together this one again is another surprise purchase i only wanted to get the basket bag and I didn't even get the basket back that I initially wanted. I got something else. I was looking around the store while I was, I was there. This caught my eye. I fell in love almost immediately. So the inside comes with a dust bag. This one is smaller, not as big as the other one. This one was such a pleasant surprise when I saw her so this is called the goya bag it's named after an artist the leather is very soft and smooth it is the smooth calfskin leather um right here it has the anagram closure in gold and the hardware all around the bag are gold very clean line very structured bag it has a back pocket right here it's a small size and it comes in a medium size as well. For me, it's going to be mostly a crossbody bag. So a small, I think it's so cute and better as a crossbody compared to a larger bag. The color is called pine green. It has so many different colors to choose from. I opt for this green because it just stands out from the rest of it. This one is made in Spain as Loe Avis originated from Spain. So all of their bags are made in Spain. Let me show you the inside. So the inside it has this tan color and the leather it's lambskin it has one little small compartment here and then it has another small compartment here i feel like these compartments are really just for cards or cash maybe if you don't want to carry a wallet you can put your cards in there other than that you have one main compartment so the size is definitely small however it works for me because i don't typically carry a lot of stuff it kind of resembles the ms constants a little bit but it's different because it's more understated so i feel like this bag it's not just a bag it's like a piece of jewelry because of the gold anagram right here it makes the bag just so much more pretty because it's so simple and that just dressed the back up a lot uh, but yet very understated still yeah so okay so here's how the back looks on me she's stunning the off-white I think it's perfect for me because I don't think I can deal with a pure white anymore. The, the strap is adjustable. I currently have it to where it hang as a shoulder bag for me, but you can definitely make it shorter or longer. Now this is a little bit shorter. I made it a little shorter here. I'm five feet four inches for reference. And I think that looks really cool. And this is the crossbody. Um, I extend it longer. You can make it longer, even longer if you want to. But for me, crossbody like this is perfect. Super adorable. I just love it. Now look at her. Honestly. <laughs> You can just wear a very simple outfit and let her be the star.
like it's just so cool to wear this with just jeans and a white tank top like this and i guess this is the armpit bag but they don't call it armpit bag for no reason it sit right underneath the armpit but you know if you like that vibe this is it this is all the vibes right here look how cool that is very cool And here's the Speedy 25 as a shoulder bag. Very comfortable, casual, but still very chic. And this is what it looks like crossbody. It can still pass as a crossbody, though I prefer my crossbody to be a little bit smaller. But if you're traveling and you need a big bag, to travel with this can still pass as a crossbody bag and this is on the crook of the arm very classic handheld there's nothing in here guys so i'm sure once you put the organizer in it's not gonna look all that slouchy i think this is really easy going back there's nothing to complain about it really it's like the most classic louis vuitton handbag so i don't think you can really go wrong with this bag who's ready for the beach this is beach perfect bag right here just imagine this with a dress with like a maxi dress summer dress perfect if you don't want the logo you can just turn it around and have a plain bag and when you get tired of carrying it on the crook of your arm or handheld you can just use a shoulder strap and carry it on your shoulder like so if you go to like a beach vacation this bag would be perfect to pack with you. And look at this stunner. And here she is, crossbody. I left the strap the same length, um, but you can definitely adjust it a little bit more to make it longer or shorter. cute little gem that's what i call it definitely a gem and that is it for this video i really hope you guys enjoy and if you do please don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the bell button so that you get notified the next time i upload a new video thank you for watching and i will see you guys next sunday bye for now